Real Media News reporting August 10th, 2024. We, the people of Oakland, can no longer stand by and watch as our city crumbles under failed leadership. Our city's well-being, safety and future have been jeopardised by gross incompetence and fiscal irresponsibility. This is about the single mother who can't walk her kids to school without fearing for their safety. This is about Oakland, and frankly, Oakland deserves better. Let's start with the most basic function of any city government leadership. Leadership is the cornerstone upon which the entire structure of governance is built. But under Mayor Tower's leadership, Oakland has been without a permanent police chief for over a year. This absence has left a gaping hole in the city's ability to maintain law and order. And the consequences of this leadership vacuum are about as subtle as a brick to the face. The signs of neglect are everywhere from the crumbling infrastructure to the rising crime rates. We're talking about a mass exodus of police officers, with numbers plummeting from 803 to a paltry 678. This drastic reduction in force has left the remaining officers stretched thin and overworked. Now, you don't need a degree in advanced mathematics to understand that fewer police officers generally lead to, well, more crime. The correlation is clear and undeniable. The experts say that Oakland needs between 1,000 to 1,200 officers to effectively ensure public safety. This shortfall is not just a number. It's a critical gap that puts every resident at risk. And while the mayor fiddles, Rome, or rather Oakland, burns, the lack of decisive action is exacerbating the situation, making it harder to reverse the damage. Because while we're busy playing police officer roulette, the criminals aren't exactly taking a time out. They are exploiting the chaos, becoming bolder and more brazen in their activities. The bottom line is this. Oakland is a city adrift, rudderless and sinking fast. Without strong leadership to steer the ship, the future looks increasingly bleak. Remember when you were a kid and you thought monsters lived under the bed? Those childhood fears seem almost quaint now. Well, in Oakland, the monsters don't just live under the bed, they're running rampant in the streets. It's a reality that feels like a nightmare. Under Mayor Tao and her council's watchful incompetence, Oakland has become a city under siege. The leadership seems paralyzed, unable to take effective action. We're talking about a full-blown crime wave, the likes of which would make Gotham City blush. The streets are no longer safe and the fear is palpable. Small businesses, the backbone of our community, are being forced to shut their doors, unable to withstand the constant barrage of break-ins, vandalism and theft. These closures are not just economic losses, they are the erasure of dreams and livelihoods. And let's not forget the shootings, the murders, the senseless violence that has become all too commonplace. Each incident leaves a scar on the community. Behind every statistic, there's a family torn apart, a life cut short, a future stolen. The human cost is immeasurable and deeply tragic. This is not the Oakland we know and love. The community is resilient, but how much more can it endure? We must come together to reclaim our city and restore the peace and safety we once took for granted. Now, let's talk about money, or more specifically, the lack thereof. It's a topic that hits home for many, especially in a city like Oakland. Because if there's one thing Mayor Tao and her council are good at, it's spending money they don't have. They seem to have mastered the art of financial mismanagement. Oakland is grappling with a severe structural deficit, a gaping financial black hole that seems to have been dug with a combination of incompetence and reckless abandon. This isn't just a minor shortfall, it's a crisis of epic proportions. The result? Drastic cuts to essential services, because apparently when you're broke, the first thing you do is stop paying for the things that actually matter. Community centres, parks and public services are all on the chopping block. We're talking about cuts to 911 response times, fire and emergency paramedic services, the very things that keep our citizens safe. Imagine calling for help and no one being there to answer. This is about a city on the brink of collapse and the people in charge seem content to just let it burn. The citizens are left to fend for themselves, protesting and pleading for change, but their cries fall on deaf ears. 
Oakland deserves better. Leaders who prioritize public safety, fiscal responsibility, and the preservation of our city's assets. Like Sean Hirsch, running for Oakland District 3 City Council office, we deserve leaders who will fight for us, not against us, who will listen to our concerns, not silence our voices. We need leaders who will prioritize the safety and well-being of our citizens, not their own political ambitions. Let's take back our city from the brink of chaos and rebuild it into the vibrant, thriving community we know it can be.